All right, now it's ready for the water. Well, folks, let it be known that today, March the 9th, 2020, might be the most epic day so far of the new year. So gorgeous, warm, amazing that I have decided to take on a little project with the new kayak that I just bought, the Liquid Logic Remix XP10. When I got the kayak, little little skeg problem. Doesn't want to go up all the way in there. And the uh, the cabling and all that, I'll show that in a little while maybe, the cabling that attaches to the skeg handle it was kind of jury rigged so of course what did i do i went to youtube found some videos and uh went to the liquid logic website and bought a new skeg kit the entire kit that includes the cabling and everything bought that directly from liquid logic so today in all this glorious sun shine and warmth i'm going to attempt to put a new skeg kit on here this is what it looks like and that's really not what you want it to look like the uh, previous owner probably had a broken cable and just kind of made it work and uh, i just don't want to do that there's no adjustment so with the new skeg kit i'll be able to um, uh, adjust it in the future but right there it is uh just a hard clamp on there so we'll get this fixed get it back to factory perfection so you got the bulkhead wall here and then the cabling comes through a little little conduit and it runs all the way over to this position right here and inside this plastic mold and everything is your spring and all of that so I think it's going to be fairly easy to get to all this to replace it so they've, they've made access pretty easy and that's a good thing here's the kit laid out it's actually called a universal replacement kit so I'll leave a link to liquid logic i think this was around forty dollars and then you have to pay a little bit of shipping all right the first thing i gotta do is reach under here and cut this cable if i can see it all right there we go once we have the cable cut the skeg should just pull down And uh, you can pull this steel cable, pull everything right out. And this spring, spring was in pretty bad shape. There's the new spring compared to the old spring. The new cable has a crimp already on the end, so we're just gonna run it right up through the skeg just like so pull it up just like that and you're good to go you can see up in there it has a cable guide for you already and there's the little uh the the fitting for your skeg so once you slide that skeg on there you just push the cable right up through the cable guide. My new spring is ready to go. All right, that part's over. Now, all you have to do is go inside and make the uh, connections and the adjustments in there. But the new spring's gonna work well. 
Here is a very slight beef that I have with this kit is right there. It's going to require a two millimeter Allen wrench. And I just went through my tools. I can't find one. So I'm going to have to make a trip to Lowe's to get this little teeny Allen wrench. Hey, Liquid Logic, please include that wrench in your kit. We would gladly pay extra. All right, we got everything in. The cable's in, the skeg's attached. All we have left to do is run the end of this steel cable through this barrel, and then we'll use that little set screw right there for the Allen wrench, and uh, adjust the skeg, and we're done. Okay, I've got everything in. The cable is in. I have got the Allen set screw tightened down. So it's basically over now. And all I got to do is cut that cable and tidy up. Now, one thing Liquid Logic will tell you that when you adjust that cable and you tighten it down, you want it to be about halfway. This first rib right there, you want about half of that space showing from the rib all the way to the top. So I've adjusted it so it rests right there halfway through on that first rib. You do that and your adjustment's gonna be perfect. So the last thing to do is just to put that little end cap on it and crimp it and that will allow me in the future if this uh, cable stretches any I can just grab that with a pair of pliers and tighten down that allen wrench set screw. Alright that was pretty easy. It wasn't hard at all. I'll leave a link to the Liquid Logic website where you can get this kit if you need to. Now I realize this video may only help three people on the entire face of the earth. But if it does, I'm glad to help you. And if you watch this video just because, well, you're a great American, and I'm going to wish something good that's going to happen to you in the next three days. All right? If you watched it, something good will happen to you in the next three days. I promise. And when it happens, come back and comment and tell me what it was. All right? I'll see you all soon in the next video.